Hello germs and worms, dolls and trolls, boys and girls. I'm Lani and I'm Jabu. And this is Lani's Playhouse. And we're almost finished building our crane construction set, right? We sure have. Today we'll probably finish it up. Well, I'm sure we'll finish it up. And then we'll have a look at what the complete build looks like, hey? Yay, that's going to be a lot of fun, isn't it, Jabu? It sure is. I hope the boys and girls are enjoying the crane. We've never had a construction crane before, so this is a lot of fun. It sure is, Jabu. And we've been learning a lot about cranes, haven't we? We sure have. We'll show the boys and tell them, tell the boys and girls a little bit about it as we get going, hey? Okay, well let's carry on then. Yes, please. Come on, mommies and daddies. So, let's see where we are. Yesterday we finished number seven over here. We've completed building it and we've put on the cross members. And now we're going to complete the crane part, number eight, right? So we take the crane, the crane base, a pallet and rope. We insert the crane into the crane base. Insert two ropes into the pallet. There we go. So we can move this out of the way for now. So here's the crane base you can see and there's the bottom of the crane and we'll insert this in here like so I don't think it particularly matters which way but let's put it in this way because this is a square so it can go in either way there we go clips in you can see the swivels and it clicks as it swivels, hey? And this moves across here, I think. Yeah, push this in, then you can move the crane part. See how it swivels back and forth. Get stuck there because we need to let a little bit of, little bit of the crane out, right? There we go. See, now you can see this will move all the way across. Well, Jabu, that's clever. I know it is, hey? Anyway, we don't want it all the way across. Put it about there. It's kind of similar to what it looks like in the, in the drawing, I think, hey? That's right. Okay, we'll put that down for now. Readjust this so we can see what we're doing. That's a good idea, Jabu. Because he has the palette, as you can see. And these are the clips here. So one goes across there. Clip them in here. There we go. Just had to push it harder. And push it all the way in. Takes a bit of pressure. There we go. There we go. You hear it clicking, Lani? I sure do, Jabba. This is quite tough, actually. Is it? Yeah. There we go. Aha. There it is, we did it. Good job, Jabu. Yeah, thanks to the mummies and daddies. And there's our pallet is ready now too. And we can attach the wrecking ball. Let's have a look, see. So there we did number eight. So now we'll move on to nine. Crane pallet wrecking ball. Insert the crane at the top of the building. Attach the pallet or wrecking ball to the hook. And here, as we figured out, if you release the button to slide the crane front or back, which we've done that, and rotate the handle to move the ball up or down, which we've done that too, right? Okay, let's do that. So here's our wrecking ball. I'm going to attach that to here. There we go, wow. 
Okay. Now let's attach the crane to the foundation of it, right? Okay, so we attach the crane up here. Just clips into these little holes. Whoopsies, don't want to do that. Clip that back in. There we go. Clip it in nice and firm. There we have the crane, hey? Wow, doesn't that look pretty good, hey, Lani? Sure does, Jabu. You can see we can push this in here. And the crane slides in and out, right? Yeah, that's clever. And we turn it around. You can see if we if we turn this, then it the the wrecking ball comes down. Turn it to go up. And then we can lower it. Wow, Jabu, that's pretty clever, hey? Yeah, you turn that and it goes up and down, hey? Oh, wow, that's a lot of fun. It sure is. So there we are. We've done that part now. Nine. And now we can put the labels on, hey? Shows you where the label positions are. So let's put those on. So first of all, we'll put some labels on the bottom. And the labels are, are um, given a letter, as you can see, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and H. So it shows you which part goes on. So on the front here, in here goes E, which is this one. Aha, you can see that's the driver, right? That's where the driver will sit. And then the bottom here go the H's. There's the H's. I can make one small complaint, Lani. Was that Jabu? Well, I think it would have been better if they had asked us to put the stickers on at first, right? Because now you've got all this extra weight and it's just a little more awkward to oopsies. To put the stickers on when the whole crane has been built. Would have been easier if we had put the stickers on first. I see, Jabu. I think you're right. Yeah, I think it would have been a little easier, but it's not a big deal. I'm just making a small complaint. I know, that's okay. It's still fun that they got stickers, makes it look more natural, more like a real crane, hey? Sure does, Jabu. Okay, and then turn on the side, and this one gets the sticker F. There you can see F, which is the side window for the driver, right? Hee <laughs> that's right, Jabu, clever. Yeah, so you see there's the front. You can see the driver there, and this will be the side window, so he can see out, see what he's doing. Very clever. Yeah, then we'll continue to turn around to the back, and the back gets stickers G, these two. These are the lights, I guess, the brake lights, because this is a crawler crane, it's called. A crawler crane, Jabu? Yeah, that's right. And what that means is that it crawls around, right? That's why they call it a crawler crane, because it can crawl. I see, Jabu. Yeah. And it's a very heavy crane, so usually when they want to move them around uh, on the job site, they just move on their tracks. 
Uh, we've talked about these tracks like tank tracks. They're also known as crawlers. So on the job site, this is a handy part of this crane as it can crawl around. But um, when they want to move it to a different job site, it has to be taken apart and moved by a train or a big tractor trailer, truck, things like that. Oh, wow, Jabo, I didn't know that. I know. It's quite interesting. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take the crane part off, if I can. There we go. Whoops. Just to make it easier to put the stickers on, right? And this one also has another, another place for a person to sit, right? Another driver or crane operator. Because at the top, right? Could be just one driver, one one operator who sits in the foundation in the crawler part when they're moving it from the job site, and then maybe he comes up into the crane part to operate the crane when he needs to. Hey, oh, I see, Jabu. Yeah. So in the front part here, over here we get sticker A. Oh, sorry, sticker C, and sticker D. So let's see, sticker C, that's right, because that's the front. So he can see out, right? See, it's his little seat, his chair. There we go. Fun. Looks good, hey? Sure does, Jabba, I love it. And then D for the bottom part. There we go. Didn't quite get that sticker on properly, but that's okay. And then on the left side here, we put sticker B. This is his side window, so he can see out, right? That's right, Jabba. Well, that looks fun. And then here is his other side window, right? That's right. Excellent. Cool, hey? Eh? It looks really great, Joe. I love it. I know, this is neat. It's a really neat toy. So, also the other thing I wanted to mention. What's that, Jabu? Well, a crawler crane, and cranes generally, are used uh, to carry heavy loads. And because of that, they consider the loads, they weigh them in tons and not in kilograms or pounds, obviously, because cranes are built to, to carry much heavier things than people can carry. That's right, Jabu. But the, the funny thing is that there's like three different ways of weighing tons. Really? Yeah, there is. There's the short ton, which is basically 2,000 pounds, or about 907 kilograms. Oh, wow. I know. And then there's also the long ton. And the long ton is 2,240 pounds, which is about 1,000... Uh, and 16 kilograms. Oh wow, Jabu, that's strange. I know. And what perhaps should be the standard, I think, is the metric ton. Okay, what's that? Well, metric ton is 1,000 kilograms, so it's a nice round number uh, because that uses the metric system, which is on based on tens, right? So 10 kilograms, 100 kilograms, 1,000 kilograms is a metric ton, which is about 2,200 pounds. Oh, wow, Jabu, that's very interesting. Yeah, it is, I think, Lani. And uh, that's some information for the boys and girls on how cranes are, are used to carry heavy things. And uh, crawler, crawler cranes, like the one we have, can carry from anywhere from 40 short tons to 3,500 short tons, which is a lot of weight. Oh, wow, Jabu, that is a lot of weight. I know. It is a very lot of weight. So that means, Lani, that a, a crawler crane could carry at least about uh, seven or eight African elephants. Oh, wow, Jabu. 
Yeah, because seven or eight African elephants weighs about 40 short tons. So that's a, and that's just the lowest amount of weight that a crawler crane can usually carry. So they could carry anywhere up to probably 50 elephants. Oh, wow, Jabba, that's crazy. I know, it is neat, isn't it? Okay, let's see where we are. So we've put on the, the labels, which is fun, making our crane look even better. And now we've got another building to build here. Oh wow, that's nice. So this is a building. We use a medium base and some more columns. Um, and uh, we insert four columns into the base. And I guess that's why we had extra columns. I thought they were for the crane, but they're actually for the building. And then we take the beams and we slide the four beams into the column's top slot. Ensure that the pin in the beam is face up. So this is pretty much the same as the um, foundation for the crane, right? Yeah, exactly. And then we take more columns and insert four columns into the each previous column's top hole. So we'll carry on with that. And this is the base here. Remembering to insert the, the beams with the pin on the top, right? Remember the pin? Let's be on the top, like so. Well, this is a fun job, but we got like two toys here, didn't we? I know, we did kind of get two toys, eh? We got a, a building and a crane. So we can use the crane to pretend to knock down the building, hey? <laughs> That's right. Very fun. We can use the wrecking ball, hey? Yeah, I think we should do that. That'll be fun, hey? It sure will be. Okay. So that's where we are. Finish number three. And then we continue on, right? Take 12 beams and eight columns and continue to slide in the remaining beams and insert in the columns to build a building three floors high. Wow. And then we take the panels, attach four panels to each floor of column and beam pins. And then take the remaining 11 panels, continue to add panels to the remaining floors of the building as you prefer. Wow, Jabu. That's fun. So I guess that's what the panels were for, right? Exactly. It's going to be a lot of fun to build this. I'm looking forward to it. Me too. Oopsies. So you want to be careful there. We don't want to break our toy, do we? No, we don't, Jabu. Careful, mommies and daddies. Yeah. Sometimes it just slips. <laughs> Wasn't on purpose, was it? No, of course not, Jabba. Mommies and daddies always try and make our toys nice, hey? They don't try damage them. That's right. <laughs> Whoopsie, that happened again. Yeah, it did, Jabu. Well, this building is not as stable, is it? Because it doesn't have the cross beams. That's exactly right, Lani. So this one will be easy to wreck with the wrecking ball. <laughs> I can't wait. Yeah, I don't think it'll be that easy, actually, because the wrecking ball is uh, made of plastic, so it's a bit soft. But it'll be fun. We can pretend, hey? That's right, Jabu, because that's what playing is all about, to pretend and let the imagination soar, right? That's right, Lani. 
it's fun to let the imagination soar and to pretend that you're a big crane operator demolishing buildings so new buildings can get built, hey? That's right, Jabo. Okay, so we have extra pieces here, which we don't need. They probably just gave us in case we lost them, which is very nice, hey? Sure is, Jabu. So, we've got one, two of these, and one, two, three, four of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of these. So that's interesting. So these have to go on the panels here. So I like to put a panel on the front here. These ones at the bottom, right? Because it looks like this is where the entrance would be. Hey, I agree, Jabu. That's a great place for it. It just looks like concrete or something. So maybe because we only have two of them, put them opposite each other. What do you think, Lani? I like it, Jabu. I think that's a great idea. All right. And then maybe put some wood on the side because maybe it's still undergoing some construction. Hee <laughs> hee. I like it, Jabu. Thanks, Lani. And then on this side too. Excellent. There's our first level. We've got two of these levels left. Let's see if we can put the rest of the windows up on the building. Make it look like a proper building, hey? Sounds good, Jabu. Okay, so here we are. We finished our building, boys and girls. As you can see, we didn't have one panel that uh, was given to us, so we decided to put that at the back. Isn't that right, Lani? Sure is, Jabu. But from this angle, and that angle, and this angle, it doesn't look like uh, it's missing anything, does it? No, it sure doesn't. You can see it's hollow inside, though, but still looks really good, hey? Got the got the wood panel in for some of the parts of the building that they're still building on and then we've also got the windows it's a very good looking building isn't it hey sure is lab jabu i think it's time to take a close-up hey i think you're right lani let's take a look at it shall we here we are boys and girls here's our crane wow jabu it looks fantastic hey sure does let's have a look at it Wow, neat, hey? That's a great crane, Jabu. It is, isn't it, hey? Wow, look at it. Let's see if we can see the. Aha! Uh -huh. See a driver there, hey? That's right, Jabu. That's a great looking crane. I know. Very lucky, aren't we? And there's our building. 
which looks pretty good, doesn't it, hey? Sure does, Jabu, wow. That's the one panel that's missing. Well, I don't know if it was missing, we just didn't get an extra panel, a 12th panel there, right? That's right, Jabu, but still from this end, it looks good. And if you go further down like that, then you can't tell that it's not, it doesn't have a back, hey? I know. And there's our ball, wrecking ball. And there's the driver. You can see him on the side there. Well, there's no driver in it, but that's where the driver would sit, right? To drive the crawler crane. And there's the back. Lots of fun, hey? There you go, boys and girls. That was our Power City construction crane set. Yay, it was a lot of fun, Jabu. Came with a building and a crane and a pallet and a wrecking ball. It sure did. And we learned that it was a crawler crane that can carry a lot of weight. 40 short tons up to 3,500 tons. And that's anywhere from six, seven elephants up to about 70 or 80, hey? Oh, wow, Jabu, that is really a lot of elephants. I know, but it's not used for elephants, it's used for construction, right? Hehe, <laughs> that's right. We don't want to move elephants around on the crane, hey? No, I don't think they would like that very much. Thanks for joining us, boys and girls. Hope you had a fun day with us, because we always enjoy having you with us, and we have lots of fun when we see all the new faces and our old friends here with us having fun with toys and all the world's joys, hey? That's right, Jabu. Well, boys and girls, Study hard so that you can become a crane operator or an engineer if that's what you want. That's right. Whatever you want to do, work hard and you will have lots of great success. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.